time entry, and delta cost point. In this video, we'll walk through the time entry process in Dell Tech Cost Point. We'll review the regular charge code for labor, which MFLAC counselors will use to document regular hours worked at the end of each workday. As we get started, let's review the process of accessing Dell Tech Cost Point. I've opened up a web browser, typed in MagellanHealth.Okta.com, and completed the login process. Uh, to access my own personal Okta dashboard. That includes my username, password, and then a next step verification with a texted or pushed code. Now that I've accessed my uh, Okta dashboard, keep in mind that mine looks probably very different from yours, and that's not a problem. I'll locate the Dell Tech Cost Point tile. It's got blue Cost Point letters, and then the caption says Dell Tech Cost Point. I'll click here to get started. This takes us to the four clicks page that we'll need to complete before accessing the timesheet. So first we'll click on time and expense, then time, then timesheets, and then once more on timesheet. Once we click here, we'll be taken to the most current and open timesheet. And now we've arrived on our timesheet. Now for practice purposes, this timesheet occurs in early June. Your timesheet will reflect a very different date in the future and not in the past. So our period ending area over here says 6-15-2021. That's because we're working on a fictitious uh, timesheet, but you should be sure that you are in the correct period ending column. You can tell if you're in the correct period time period in the timesheet by double checking these boxes to make sure that today's date falls within the range here. So we verified that we're in the correct time period and we'll get started by adding a line to our timesheet. To do this, we'll first click on add a line. And next we'll click on the magnifying glass under the project column. To add the regular charge code for labor, we'll click on direct project. Then on MFLAC 4 East, it's very important to click here MFLAC 4. Continuing to click on the only option available. And then on this page, we'll choose between uh, three selections, on-demand, rotational, or surge. The vast majority of MFLAC counselors are rotational. However, if you are an on-demand or surge MFLAC counselor on an on-demand or surge assignment, those are typically short-term assignments, you would click appropriately to meet uh, the best accurate response for your assignment. I'll click on rotational for our purposes today, but if you're not sure which one you should be clicking, please double check with your regional supervisor and verify what type of assignment you have. We'll click rotational for our purposes in demonstrating today and continue to click until we do not have any more options available. On this last page, there's no plus sign available. So we're gonna go ahead and click select to continue. And now we've added the charge code to our timesheet. However, it's not saved yet. So let's go ahead and save by clicking one of the two save buttons at the upper left hand corner. And now it's saved to our timesheet. We can see that it's there. At the end of each day worked, we'll enter in the time that has worked into the box that corresponds with both the date and the regular charge code for labor. So let's say that today was June 1st, 2021, and it's the end of our workday. We worked eight hours and 30 minutes. So we'll go ahead and type in 8.5 hours, keeping in mind that uh, anytime we add a decimal, a fraction of an hour, it can only be to the tenths point in Dell Tech cost point. I'm gonna save that to our timesheet. When I enter the time, I must click one of the two save buttons in the upper left hand corner or it will not be saved to our timesheet and it will look as though we never entered any time. As the week progresses, we'll continue to access the timesheet at the end of each day worked and enter in the appropriate hours for that day work. So if on Wednesday, for example, it's the end of the day on Wednesday, June 2nd, 2021, we would type in eight hours and then click one of the save buttons to ensure that that time is saved to our timesheet. We get this message here that says record modification successfully completed. We'll click close to continue. This concludes the video of demonstrating 
adding regular hours worked to the labor charge code. Please refer to other videos located in the toolkit for references and demonstrations on how to request leave and also how to add PTO and holiday time to your timesheet.